It's gonna happen. This is what you call a forced YouTube video. Come on, Waco. Hey, this has just happened. Listen. Oh yes. We're getting penetrated oh. by YouTube over here. Hey. This is our this is our hired gun right this here. Is, this is our face. Yeah. All right. This is the so, face of our company. His hair is taller than mine. <laughs> All right. So, uh, wait, we're, hold on, hold on. Oh, we're, we're, in Miami. Let, let, oh, there, there you go. There you go. You, all right, so it's a little, it's a little walk through on that road. But you know what? I this want them to here see. Is black. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It has some stuff on the top. All right. So let's start off with what we were drinking first. What were we drinking? One well, sweet tea. All right. So let's. Thanks to my boy JP. Waco, uh, thank you. I I almost put you under the gun, didn't I? You almost did. Dude, you just you saved did. me. All right. So listen, I'm probably gonna go ahead and showcase the most viewed boat on my channel this month. And I want you guys to show it properly because I don't, yeah, I don't sure. honestly, I don't know it, right? So let's, let's. He's selling boats. Come on, Waco. You just been. Hey. Hair looks better than mine today. Hey, this is what you deal with that HCV, guys. Thank you so much. All right, hey, Waco, dude. You know what? Here we are, man. He put you on blast. Four it happened. This is what happens at the Fort Lauderdale show. And you know why? Why people watch my channel? Because they know it's unedited and real. So let's see. So first this, off, this is. This is the blackout. What's it called? We call this the blackout. The blackout. Yep. All right. So, so there's multiple there's multiple versions of this boat that people can get in the future if they want. That's what they'll call it. So we're a custom boat company. So okay. no two boats are alike. No All right. Two boats are similar. All of them have their own identical, or their own footprint, All right. so to speak. Okay. Okay. They're all different. Sweet. All right. So this one is the blackout, and is this boat sold or is it for sale? It's for sale. We built it specifically for the Fort Lauderdale boat show. Okay, guys. All right, guys. We are. Jumping aboard the 53 Sueños Blackout, baby. All right. And we got Waco here, and he's at Plantation Mart, right? Plantation Boat Mart, yes, sir. Uh, okay, we're, guys. We're here representing HCB Yachts. All right, we're so. Here with HCB Yachts. So let's start off at the power, first of all. So, oh my God. So, first off, these are the new Yami 425s. All right, so what you that are in, in a very popular dealer down in the Keys, yep. what do you like about these Yamahas? Fuel efficiency. Fuel efficiency. That's the number one thing with these new motors. So since they came out with the 425s, man, we've seen no problems with these motors. The fuel economy is better on these motors. And they, uh, it's another option with the 7 Marine. So we also build these boats with 7 Marine motors. Seven so you have the, uh, the option to, to put the uh, 627 horsepower on the back. Great. All right, so, so, so tell me a little bit about some of the, the features and the areas on, on this boat. Let's start so, off here in, in the back. So this is our tender edition. As you can tell, we got the tender seat here in the back. You'll have a live well underneath the seat, but then there's upholstery, they call it cool breeze. I saw that, and that's kind of like something new, right? Exactly, this is something new. So it doesn't get hot even though it's black? Exactly, it doesn't get hot. So, so it's not some type of, um, it's not the same type of vinyls, or it's, it's different? It's different. Yep. It's different. It's different. Okay, they great. Call it, they call it cool breeze. Cool breeze, guys. So that's a, a, one of the latest innovations over here. We got the. 425 Yamaha XTOs. I did a, a, a walkthrough on, uh, I actually spoke to one of the guys of Yamaha, and I'm gonna put a link above this video so they can check that out because I think they wanna see that as well. So, so then this is our, uh, our Fiesta patio. That's what our you, summer kitchen area. This is where you chill. Over here, you got the grill. That is awesome. You got your blender set up, you got your cutting boards. Refrigerator nice. on both sides. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to take one of those waters later. As well. And what's this right here? Cockpit ice maker. Oh, that's an ice maker. Oh, Whenever you God. travel to the Bahamas, then one of the hardest things to get is ice. So you're making ice? You make your own ice. As you go. All uh, Madewells <laughs> have freezer place too as well. I love the blender right here just hanging out. Oh, it's man, like, you, you, you guys are playing it up for real. Drinks, <laughs> I mean, you're you, really letting you people see it. See yeah, you, you you're you letting people see it. <laughs> All right, so the garment screen too up here as well. So you're in the back, trolling around fishing, and you can find your spots. You see, and you saw integrated speakers, integrated windshield dash here as well, with extra storage back here in the back. All right, so I mean, is this version set up just more for tender? You said it's not really like fishermen so fishing. So at the end of the day, man, this is a true center console. So you will fish this boat. Okay. But we do get a lot of people that like the tender seat in the back instead of the live wells. So we also build it with tool 60 gallon live wells. 
And maybe we could look at some, uh, maybe another boat real quick after we're done out here so you can exactly. check it out. So we and got the gold boat over there, we call it gold member. Uh, it's got the the, uh, the dual live wells in the back, but then it has the transom seat on top of the live wells. All, all right, so we'll, and we'll, we'll talk about that uh, also as we go. Let's go a little bit forward here to the uh, cockpit area. You got some, you got what, dual? Dual sinks. Dual sinks here? Yep. That wow. Up. And you come in here to the back of there, you got your slay seat, which is by far the best seat in the house. USB charging ports here. And your ladder backs in the back. Class. You know, we I'm stick man. with luxury. Fit and finish is where we really strive. Get up into your dash. Three cabin yes. chairs. Triple Garmin screens. You got a 22 inch in the center. 17s on the outside. Now that's an option. Oh my God. Standard is triple 17s. Standard is triple 17s, guys. Guys, look at this. Um, this. You know what? This is absolute, guys. I am right now sitting as if I were driving this boat. Look at the visibility. Absolutely, really nice, guys. Look at this cockpit. Really, really nice. Um, so we also got the uh, piano board switches here too, as well. Slicks up the dash. That is, man. Classy, classy boat. And this is a 2019, 20. 2020. So it's this, a 2020. This boat was built specifically for this show. Just came out of the factory about three, four days ago. So what's up with this right here that we have some non-skid on this and so I these mean. are uh, these are coolers. So every one of our hatches are built by Frisier Rigid. So every hatch is insulated. Oh look so at these that. These are more storage areas for you know, your drinks, your food, whatever you need to keep cool. Down oh. Here's the cabin. This is this is uh, you know what? I'm gonna make them wait for this. All right. Let, let, let's go to the front because go the front. they're gonna have to. We're gonna call it the bow because you know every time they say, well, "Why'd you say the front?" You know, I Here's dude, the I, bow, man. I, to the bow. I I get I get Come ripped on, all the time. I get ripped. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I called the bathroom once and they're like, "Dude, it's a head." I was like, "Come on, bro. I'm trying to appeal the masses here." <laughs> exactly. All right. So so tell me about this. This is this is nice, this, this man. Is the, uh, this is the coffin box seating up here in the front. So there's a whole coffin box under here? Yes. So can we open that or do you got storage in there or what's going on? Oh, so it's it's a, oh, look at that, dude. You guys got like the Ferrari thing going on here. All right. So then this is also refrigerated as well. And the hatches are built by Frigid Rigid too. So also by- completely insulated in here. Uh, any macerator pumps or anything like that on, on, uh, on this particular, you know, like uh, in your boxes? Uh, we'll have the chill plates back in the live wells. Okay. But, uh, so we have here in the... So then you have the bow seating up here in the front. Okay. And you got your dining table. Right now we got the cushions on top, which will draw halfway to a giant sun pad up here in the front, uh, as well as we'll go all the way to the floor. So then, uh, you know, if you want to take the cushions off up on here up front, you, you can won't, fish the bow. And you won't stub your toe or anything like that because it's nice. This, I mean, at the end of the day, this is a true center console, so you will fish this boat. This is absolutely beautiful, guys. So this is the Sueños, right? Sueños. So we have a bigger version, which is the Estrella, which is this boat here, right? That's right. So we're gonna, guys, we're gonna walk, we're gonna walk this 53 Sueños, the Blackout Edition. And, and you know what, I think the gold member, once we're done with this one, make a Waco, let's let, let's let them they, see. Are they ready? Are they ready? Come on, guys. <laughs> Dude, wow. That is awesome. Oh my God, the air conditioning feels great in here, dude. So tell me about this cabin. So essentially, man, this is enough for you to come down here, relax, get out of the sun, uh, do some things. You have a separate shower and a, uh, and a head too as well. But, but this is like a whole separate bathroom. Um, we put a lot more space into the head and shower because essentially you'll be using more of that. You got the rain shower in the uh, in there. Now, I mean, I'll tell you what. A lot of people like the fact um, that you have a whole designated space, you know, to have a separate head, and then you have a nice sleeping area. 
And what what are these screens here? Are these TVs or access so to the? So that's a TV and then storage on the on the two outside. St storage on the outside as well. Yeah. And you also have some storage in here and some storage in there too as well. Um, is there a sea keeper option on this? Yes, sir. So this one has a sea keeper. So this one has a sea keeper. So let me ask you, Waco, where where's like uh, where's the w wiring and stuff like? Where's the panel at? So you have your uh, you have your panels back here. I definitely want to show some of that. Okay, nice. And what's the fuel capacity on this uh, 53 Sueños? So this is a thousand gallons. So you're talking about, you know, a lot of range. A lot of range. What are you getting miles per gallon with these uh, XTOs on this? Uh, your range is going to be right around 500 miles. About 500? Yeah. All right, guys. Sea keeper stabilization. Essentially. Your uh, generator back there as well. All right, so here's what that sea keeper does, guys. That basically stabilizes the boat so it doesn't rock left and right. Uh, I have a video of how that system works. So if you want to click above here to the right, you'll see that as well. Um, man, nice and clean, dude. Dude, nice and clean. Um, all right, so what are we looking at? 2019, you don't have to commit to it. I'm sorry, but no, no, I know, I know. This is a 222, oh. but we're in 2019 right now. But oh, I want, I want to, <laughs> yes, I want to establish that because like no, no, because I did listen. To it. Come on, you're giving me a hard time. Bro. All right, all right. Hey, come on, all right. Was, all somebody's got. Some. I know, I know. It was timely. It was timely. Good, guys. I get beat up here at the show from from all these guys. All right, but it's 2019. They're gonna see a a price point, right? We, I'm not gonna hold you to it, but just so they can get an idea of of maybe somebody that's interested in a 53 footer with all these amenities, what are they looking at? I'm 19, talking, well, we're, 20. it's, it's, Let's it's just a, say we'll be right around 1.8 to 2 million. Okay, about to say about Let's 2 million. Start. Roughly that range. Heavily set up, yeah, nicely heavily rigged. Loaded, yeah. completely loaded. Okay. All the, all the, the bells and whistles, everything. On right a 53 footer, guys, so you guys know exactly what you're gonna get. This is the blackout version. If they wanted more, you know, a more simple fishing version, that's, I'm sure there's a difference in prices. Exactly. So we're a custom boat company, so like I said, no two boats are alike. So each boat will have its own different options. Different what, what's what's the dry weight on this, more or less? And is it is it trailable? Uh, yes, it's definitely trailable. It is. I mean, so we build these in Knoxville, Tennessee, so we have to trailer the 65 down to our dealership, a test center in Alamorada Keys. So and, all these boats are trailer. And we're gonna we're gonna hold you to a, a sea trial, but don't worry about that. We'll talk about that. I'll make you shake on that on camera. It. Hey, next video we'll be on the boat. <laughs> Wait, hold on, ready guys? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah. All right, so listen, you guys got the information. Um, what's top speed on this guy? You'll be right around a little under 60. All right, little, little under 60. And what's the draft on it? On uh, a center console with, like this? Because with the, motor, with the motors down, right about four. So, so I, I see kind of like guys with bigger boats that maybe you don't want to deal with the bigger boat issue, probably so, bringing that so coming a lot of down. Guys come from sport fish. Yeah. They have the captains, yes, they have yes. the first mates, the first engineers. Yes. You know, the biggest things is the captain. Yes. Well, 90% of the time, you're going to destination yacht this boat. You're going to go to the Bahamas. Where are you going to sleep? Yes. You're going to be sleeping in the hotel room. Who stays on the boat? The captains, the engineers, the first mates. So this gives that ability for those guys to, you know, be just with their family, solely with their family. They're the ones operating the boat. Super easy to drive, joystick, valve easy. thruster. Very easy. Uh, so then we get a lot of those guys that, that transfer over to these boats right here. Because you got the size, you get the speed, uh, you're able to go fast, agility. I mean, it's a monster. Guys, that's why I call it the Monsters at the Show. We're, let's go check out the Gold Member, which is the same boat, rigged and set up and painted differently. The Fish Edition. The Fish Edition. All right, guys, let's walk over there. Hey, you know what? Hold, oh, snap, snap your finger. Let's go. Boom. That was. So now we're here at Gold Member. All right. So we got the same power, the 425 Yami, but this one was uh, hyper dipped with the teak on the top. So when you say hyper dipped, they they basically dipped it in. They painted it. And uh, that's how they get that wood color. That's how they get that wood grain look. That is, guys, um, incredible. There's a company locally called Hydro Dra Graphics that does something similar. Uh, incredible stuff. It looks bad ass, guys. All right. So let me take off my shoes and let's go on the 53 and see a different layout. Obviously, it's not black. We just, we just walked with the Tinder edition. This is our fish edition, and we'll walk through that one too as well. Uh, awesome. So, welcome aboard. Thank you. All right, guys, look at this. Oh my God. All right. So, then what you see different here is you got a different summer kitchen. 
but this one does not have the grill, but you still got the, uh, the grill insert underneath here. So you'll attach the grill here on this model. Waco, what a difference. Completely just right? the look. I mean, I feel that. I felt like I was in a Batman. I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> exactly. race you and don't look at me funny because I'll take you out. One of right. those on the other black boat. Now this I kind of it's, it's feel, I'm it's like, I'm it's like, I'm like, like, yeah, man, let's go fishing, oh, exactly. dude. Let's go dude, fishing. it's a, it's so amazing. As you say that, let's go fishing. This is the fish edition. So you have the dual 60 gallon live wells. You got this rocket launcher here, too, as well. This is an option. So you can do the full chair as an option, or you got the rocket launcher. Option. So you this got is multiple options here. This is like the diehard guy that really likes to fish. Likes to fish, man. You got be the comfortable. Live wells. But then what's unique is we got the, the transom seating right here. I call this one of the best seats in the house. You know, it's comfortable. I mean, dude, it's uh, it's elevated above the gunnels, man. It's a uh, it's a beautiful ride back here. And I see cooler on the outside too, as well for a little extra seating. And these are live wells, so you can Those see are your bait. Live wells, yeah, they're also pressurized too, as well. That is nice, guys. And look at these. This is also powered by Yamaha as well. So I'll tell you, one of the trends that I seen at the show over here in Fort Lauderdale, Waco, is, um, you know, a couple years ago, I only saw Mercury, Mercury, Mercury. Now I'm seeing only Yamaha, Yamaha, Yamaha. These 425s have gotten a, a, good, a good name for themselves. They've a great name. For the first year of production, man, they've done very well. I mean, they've, they've been incredible motors. Uh, they've really amplified our boats too as well. So it makes, you the, know, it the makes- two options we used to have were seven marine motors and Yamaha 350s. Okay. Uh, but, you know, us being a custom boat company, we don't discriminate to Mercury, we don't discriminate to other brands, you know, we're willing yeah, to do whatever Yeah, absolutely, the whatever, wants. whatever the customer wants. But I'm just saying, I saw that trend and it's a trend that's uh, moving. Yeah. So you have JO audio system on this guy as well, all over here. So- So uh, we consider this boat to be one of our extreme additions. Uh, and that's in the case where it's got the custom painted hole. And it's also got about 47 speakers in here. 47? Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, you're going to go to the sandbar and let everybody know. Everybody's going to hear you coming. Everybody's going to know you're there. Everybody's going to say, can I get on the boat, please? <laughs> exactly. Sorry, dude. So it ain't happening. Too, over on this one, you got the speakers up above the, uh, the helm station. Man, what a different feel. Slick dash, right? It is so different, dude. This I mean, one it's feels a. Like you're in heaven on cloud it, it's so relaxing. I just want to. I want to put some Bob Marley, some right. Three Little Birds, right. and just run it, dude. <laughs> I mean, seriously, look at the bolsters here, guys. I mean, this is details. Um, this is really where we uh, where we strive when we take a name for ourselves. It's all about the little details. You, you know, know the fit and finish. Everything. I see that, man. You got some holders here. Same same layout as far as the Garmin systems that same you had. Layout, yeah. 22 in the center, 17s on the outside. The standard is triple 17s. And also you got some of this dipped uh, wood from like the, the engines, the same one? Yeah, same way. Keep with the flow of the boat. Guys, uh, I apologize. These uh, refer uh, uh, air conditioners over here are kind of loud, so we're going to have to speak up a little bit, but it is what it is. So we got the, uh, we got the sunshade up here on the bow right now. Uh, we keep everything simple. It's just a simple slide in. Slide it in, roll it up, yeah, put it away, it fold it. it. It's one less thing that's going to break. It's not mechanical. Uh, you get those ones that are uh, uh, mechanically handy. Essentially, you're going to get the whistling yeah. out, you know. Same thing, coffin box seating up here in the front. Same uh, thing opens up is exactly like the other one. It's exactly like the other one opens up the same way. All refrigerated, uh, insulated hatches by Frigid Richard too as well. So a big shout out to, uh, to Ultimate Auto. They're the ones that did the, uh, the Extreme Edition package on this. So Ultimate Auto did the paint job uh, and added all the extra speakering systems uh, as well as everything else that's a little bit aftermarket on our boats. That's classy that you did that. Not many people do that, guys. Um, so same layout over here. This table also goes down. And goes down to the floor, goes down halfway. I mean, same, same way, same setup. Uh, as you can tell, the feel on this one's. And this is 100% real teak, right? 100% real teak, yeah. 100% real teak, guys. Oh, there's nothing like having that Sueños badge right in the front, guys. Beautiful boat, windless. Uh, Sueños, man, it's a dream. It's, it's a, a dream. dream for all of us. Sueños it's in Spanish dream. means dream, guys. And Estrella in Spanish, which is this big boy over here, means star. So I kind of understand why that 65 footer is the star. Exactly. So we're going to go into the cabin in here. And so once you go in here, you'll see the differences that we do. So one had the sink option. This one has the cabin option. 
you'll see those. Oh my God, I, I can't go in here, dude. It's too nice and it, it feels too good. <laughs> this, it's, oh my God, this is one of those things that you're like, oh no. Wow. Dude, first of all, Wago. Yes, sir. It feels so good in here. <laughs> the air conditioning is beautiful. Like, this is why you would want this, right? So you can just hide, a, sun, hide exactly. away, be comfortable. Maybe the kids, the wife, everybody, right. you know, you still want to fish. Essentially, you're on a boat. You know, who wants to go out on a boat and be inside? You yeah. Know, that's what we say true to the center console. We are an outside 360 degree boat. Take that back. We're not a boat, we're a yacht. We, uh, at, here at HGB, we establish a center console yacht market. So, so you have a separate uh, head here as well. Yeah. Very similar. Shower too as well. Very similar to the blackout. There. Yeah, the the blacked out. Guys, this is like perfectly fitting for what's going on. Like we're, we're like a day away from um, Halloween, and that blacked out version. I'm telling you. I mean, if it's not there tomorrow in the morning, you know who took it. Yeah. If I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, all right, so let's talk about. You got the, uh, you got the JL pods up here on the front too. As well. Oh, that's one of the forty-seven. Yeah, let's let's stop showing off. That's at this point, at well. this point, look. All right, so let's talk about where they can see these because right now somebody might not be at the show because, you know, they're somewhere else in the world. Okay, so our test center is down in Island Island Morata, Island Morata which is. Keys. So. Most of these boats go from HCB, where we're built in the factory at Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, and shipped to the test center down in Isla Mirada, uh, Plantation Boat Mart. Okay, so if somebody wanted to come down, you guys have some of these in in stock in Isla Mirada or no? We have a lot of them in stock in Isla Mirada, and uh, as well, you can also find our uh, sister dealership up in West Palm Beach, Palm Beach Garden PGA Marina. Great. Uh, is the boat mart uh, up there too as well? So you so, have two locations where you can find these HCBs. So, so. so if they wanted to get like your information, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna kill your email, but I don't care. <laughs> What's your email? My, what about my uh, Instagram page? Okay, let uh, go, we'll go. We'll go with two here. All right, I this guy's that. under forty. You're making me feel. Old. <laughs> Come on. All right, man. Emails, What's your bro. Instagram? Emails, bro. All right. Listen, emails, I had to get rid of my on, Facebook got... because I felt old. <laughs> All right. So, what's your Instagram page, right, so and how could they get at access Yachty to? Made. At Yachty Made. At Yachty Made, and then you also uh, wanna <laughs> wanna follow uh, at Broker of Yachts. Okay. As, your yacht guy. <laughs> your as yacht well guy. As your yacht guy. 